the times had changed and the car that had changed them was no longer needed. In May 1927, the fifth month of the plant, and the assembly line closed down forever on the world's most famous car. Hey, it's Jason, and I'm here with the 1926 Model T. And this is a really interesting Model T because it was driven coast to coast from Manhattan to San Francisco. It's currently on display here at the AACA Museum in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And there's gonna be an event on November 27th where the publisher of the book from coast to coast is gonna be reviewing and talking about the journey. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this 1926 Model T. So you can see here on November 27th, Coast to Coast by Tom Cotter. He's gonna be reviewing the history of this 26 Model T that drove from Manhattan to San Francisco. You can also tune in via Zoom. And this uh, is on loan from Nathan Edwards who lives in Winchester, Virginia. But yeah, I mean, this Model T was driven coast to coast from Manhattan to San Francisco uh, on the Lincoln Highway. Tom Cotter, who is um, the author of, the, uh, of several books, including the um, Coast to Coast book, um, and was assisted by Nathan Edwards in building it. And once in a lifetime, this um, Model T covered 3,707 miles in less than two weeks, in less than 14 days and it was the original route of US Route 30 to Lincoln Highway. Um, it was modified. It has uh, overhead valve conversion, front disc brakes, hydraulic road drum brakes, a working accelerator pedal, and a few other changes. Um, they were followed by a photographer and averaged about 18 miles per gallon and often exceeded 50 miles per hour, sometimes 60 miles per hour. <clears throat> you can see here, some interesting things about the Model T. This is called a dead perch. Which is a solid right spring shackle to help with steering response. It's just amazing they were able to do that with this car cover so much ground. The seat was lowered, accelerator moved back, more than likely just for driving comfort, more so than, than what it had to offer. California or bust. They put a fuel cell in the trunk which is probably needed. Various tools and whatnot to help them on the journey. You can see here hydraulic drum brakes were modified to it. But what an adventure this group of guys took. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an awesome looking car, a lot of history to it and he drives something from the 20s all the way coast to coast with a photographer in tow and to have a book about the journey to share with everybody. I think it's just remarkable. So be sure to tune in to this and uh, I would definitely urge you to come check this thing out in person because it's uh, really impressive to just see this historic vehicle and what it did. Appreciate you tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It means a lot to me. Have a great day. Times had changed, and the car that had changed them was no longer needed. In May 1927, the fifth mud of the plant, and the assembly line closed down forever on the world's most famous car. From then on, the old flivver began to disappear from the roads. As old cars were turned in, they were taken back to the plant. they were
were scrapped. Their steel was salvaged for use in the new models. of the furnace as though in a last effort to save itself. The Model T died hard. <laughs> <laughs> 